You are welcome to another video of Juniper Security Associate course. In this section, I will talk about Juniper SRX Address Book concept and configuration. Address Book is used to assign a name to each address range configured in different zones in the enterprise. When you configure a security policy, it's required to use Address Book entries as the source or destination address. As I've explained in the introduction in the security policy, it is required to use the name of address range instead of address range itself as a source and destination address. Within Juniper SRX address book, we will assign a name for each address ranges used in the enterprise as an entry. For example, the name of LAN for the address range 192, 168, 10, SH24, and one for the address range 192.168.1.24. As shown in the figure by default, there is an address book in Juniper SRX devices with the name of Global, but with no entries by default. Global address book is the only address book that you can add entries independent of the zones. All other custom address books must be assigned to a zone and addresses related to that zone will be configured as the entries into address book. When you configure a security policy between two zones, you can call any address entries in the address book as the source or destination address with the condition that it is connected to the correct zone. But when you configure an address range in the global address book, then it can be called as a source or destination address in any of the configured zones. It's recommended that you configure an address book for each zone that you use in your security policies. We have different methods and different options to configure address entries in the address book. With prefix, you can configure an address range with a combination of subnet address and subnet mask. This is perhaps the most usual method to configure an address entry in the address book. For example, the prefix 192.168.10.sh24 can be used as an entry in the address book. With address range, you can configure an address entry with just configuring the start IP address and the end IP address of a range. For example, the IP address range 192.168.11.10.2.192.168.11.199 can be configured as an entry in the address book which cannot be configured with one line prefix address with wild card address you have the possibility to configure the addresses which cannot be easily configured through prefix or address range with wild card address you configure a subnet and a wild card wild card shows which part of the subnet is important or can be ignored. Bit 1 in any position in the wildcard shows that the value of exact position in the subnet is important and must be exactly as configured in the subnet. But bit 0 in any position in the wildcard shows that the value of exact position in the subnet is not important and can be ignored. For example, the subnet 10, 0, 10, 0 with a wildcard 255, 7, 255 and then 0 means that the first and the third octet must be exactly 10 as configured in the subnet. But in the second octet, only the value of first three bits from the rights 
must be exactly as comfortable in the submit. In other words, the second octet can be 0, 8, 16, and so. With DNS name, we can configure a DNS name as an entry in the address book. For example, the domain name royalcode-code.com can be an entry in the address book. With address set, we can collect some address entries in a new address set. Therefore, in the security policy, we can use multiple address range with calling address set as the source or destination address instead of writing multiple lines each line include just one address range to configure an address book we start the command in security and then address book context as you can see by default there is a global address book and we are allowed to configure a custom address book here is an example how we can configure address book and address set in Juniper SRX devices. An address book with the name of inside is configured for all address ranges in the inside zone. It's recommended that one address book for each zone to be configured. But here as an example, I configured just one address book for inside zone. In the first four line, I configure address range with different methods, prefix, range address, wildcard, and DNS name. In the first line, address range 192, 168, 10, SH24 is used with a name, assigned a name. In the second line, with the help of range address option, a range of IP addresses from 192, 168, 11, 10 to 199 is configured and is assigned to a name. In the third line, with the help of wildcard address option, a complex address range is configured as I have explained a few minutes ago. And in the fourth line, a DNS name raika-code.com is added to the address book as an entry with the name of also raika-code.com. In the next four lines, an address set with the name of LAN is configured and all these address ranges are added in the address set. In the next line, configured address book with the name of INSIDE is assigned to the zone inside each address book must be assigned to a zone except a global address and in the last line and entry for the address ntp server is added in the global address book which can be used as the source or destination address in any zone in security policy now we can apply and commit the configuration Copy, paste, and then commit. Now let's look at how the address book and address sets are used in security policy. Also, ensure that each zone only has access to its own address book and address set, and the addresses in the global address book, and also any are the only addresses that are available in all zones. Please don't notice the syntax of the security policy itself, since we have not still talked about it. The target is just to see how addresses configured in address book and address sets are used in the security policy. We write the security policy from inside zone to the outside zone with the command set security policy from inside to zone outside policy for example yes then we match the source address which certainly must be in the inside zone because it is from the zone so match source addresses use the question mark in the front of source address we see that all addresses 
configured in the inside address book are available to be configured. In addition to that, NTP address configured in the global address book and also any addresses are also available. But when we match the destination address, the only address available are the NTP address and also any. This is because we have not configured an address book specifically for the outside zone that the destination address belongs.